Good morning, y'all. I hope you guys have had a fabulous week and welcome to Foodie Friday. Today, I'm going to be sharing another recipe with you. Today, it's going to be a slow cooker pork chops with gravy over mashed potatoes that I found on Pinterest and the recipe will be linked down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. First off for this recipe, you are getting one pound of pork chops. You can use bone in or bone out. We used bone out. You're also gonna need some garlic powder, some ranch dip seasoning, the seasoning mix for ranch, some pepper, some brown gravy mix, some cream of chicken condensed soup, some corn starch, and some beef broth. All these ingredients are extremely affordable. In total, it cost me about $7.50 for all of these ingredients, and this made us about eight servings. So that's pretty cheap, less than a dollar per serving. Now I am just laying all the pork chops out on a plate so that I can season them with all the seasonings before I put them into the crock pot to cook. So I will leave the original recipe with all the exact um, measurements down below, but I don't measure seasonings in my house. So I just sprinkled all the pork chops with the uh, pepper and the garlic powder and then also the ranch dip seasoning. I just put half of the packet on one side and half the packet on the other side. Um, and so I just sprinkled them all on this side with the seasonings and then I flipped them over and sprinkled them on the other side with the seasonings as well to get them nice and coated. And then I kind of mashed in the seasonings with my fingers just to make sure it was kind of really like on the pork chop. After your pork chops are seasoned, you're just gonna set those aside for a second while we get the crock pot all set up and ready to put them in there. You're gonna wanna take your crock pot and you're gonna wanna pour the one can of beef broth into the crock pot. We're gonna be using the crock pot to mix kind of the gravy mixture together. So you're gonna take the one can of beef broth and then you're also going to take one can of cream of chicken soup and you're going to pour that into the crock pot as well. You're also going to want to add your one packet of brown gravy mix to the crock pot to mix in as well. Like I said, this is going to be our gravy base that our pork chops are gonna cook in. And now you're gonna wix those all together to make kind of the thin consistency. Basically, you're wanting the cream of chicken soup to get all mixed in with the beef broth and the brown gravy. If you've watched my slow cooker recipe videos before, you know I usually cook with the slow cooker bags inside of my crock pot, but I did not this time since you are mixing the gravy inside of the crock pot and then at the end you're also like thickening up the gravy all inside the crock pot. This is truly a one pot meal. Um, and so I didn't want to use those bags because I didn't want to risk like them getting torn or leaking or anything just messing up. I just thought it would be easier just to cook this directly in my crock pot, which I don't usually like doing, but for today it was a necessity. And then I did have some ranch seasoning left over that I just didn't get onto the pork chops. So I just threw that in with the gravy as well and mixed it all in just to give some extra flavor in that gravy. Mm. 
Once the gravy is all mixed together, we are just going to add in our pork chops to the crock pot. And I just tried to put them in a thin layer on the bottom of the crock pot as much as I could. I did end up having to kind of layer them a little bit, but for the most part, I just laid them in a thin layer across the bottom of the crock pot. That way they would cook as evenly as possible. As I was putting the pork chops in the crock pot, I did just kind of scoop them across the plate as you see here, just to get any of that extra seasoning off the plate so that you're not wasting any of that seasoning. And then I'm just gonna scrape the rest of it into the gravy mixture. And then before I close the lid up, I am just gonna add a little bit of more garlic powder to the top, just sprinkle that across because I am a garlic lover in my house, so we use a lot of garlic in my cooking. <laughs> Anyone else have that issue? Anyone else out there a garlic lover? So you're gonna wanna close your crock pot up nice and tight so it can get cooking, and then just go ahead and plug your crock pot in. Now you're gonna, gonna wanna put your crock pot on the low setting. If you wanna cook it quicker, you can put it on the high setting and just cut the cooking time in half. And then the recipe says to cook this for six to seven hours on low or for three to four on high. I chose to do it for about six and a half hours on low um, and decided if I needed to cook it more when I got home, I could, but I'm cooking this while I'm at work, so it was gonna be sitting with warm on for a while anyway, so I just went ahead and put it at six and a half to get that cooking. Now once I got home, we did go ahead and make some of these um, mashed potatoes. We love this brand of instant mash. We use it all the time. And then we went ahead and we took the pork chops out of the crock pot so that we could get the gravy made with the leftover dressing. As you can see here, the pork chops were nice and like falling apart, nice and moist and so delicious. So I just pulled all those pork chops out so that I can make the gravy. Once all the pork chops have been removed from the gravy mixture, you're going to want to go ahead and take your cornstarch and you're gonna to wanna to take two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix it with two tablespoons of water. So basically just equal parts cornstarch to water. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that's really mixed together and there's no clumps left in it. Don't mind my dog waiting to see if I drop anything. <laughs> Once the cornstarch and water are mixed together, you're gonna want to slowly pour them into the leftover juice from the pork chops and whisk it all in and let this just kind of simmer. Well, it's in a crock pot, so it's not simmering, but just put it back on warm for a little bit and let it kind of cook until it thickens up a little bit. For me, it never really thickened up a whole lot. It was a very thin gravy, but it was still delicious on top of the pork chops. And that is it, you guys. I served this over mashed potatoes, and we did end up having some green beans on the side as well. And it was so good and a quick, easy weeknight meal for those of us who are working moms. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.